Hey guys, Kevin Newton for Australian Survival Instructors. I've got a couple of things I want to show you today. First one being, it's in the ice man's backpack. This is a recreation because they only found a couple of pieces of timber near Ertzi, which they're presuming was a backpack. Uh, but the basis of the design is two support pieces which go on my lower back and this single hoop. Now this single hoop is a great design because what it does is it stabilizes the whole frame. Now imagine having four separate pieces, it wouldn't be pretty stable, it'd be moving like this. So that's a, that's a brilliant design by Etsy. And I've attached the goat skin bag totally separate, you can see here it's separate. Um, because what I wanted to do is just support it off the top and have a quick release mechanism which I've done with this single piece of leather. And I've got a couple of goat skin shoulder supports and also another quick release mechanism here. Just makes it easier to put it on and off. The interesting thing with mine is I've used a timber called Calicoma for this this hoop piece and Calicoma is a single genus now in the early days of Australian settlement especially in Sydney it was called black wattle now the flowers are very similar to a wattle um, because what they used to do was make wattle and daub houses which is mud and timber houses and obviously this Calicoma was just as good as other wattle for weaving in and out the walls and a wattle was just a separate part of a wall um, so that's that's a great use for it but not only is calicoma good for that what I've done I've used calicoma to make a cell phone now this is basically just an experiment but uh, it's, I'm really happy with this it's come out way better than I thought it would I've used a couple of rainforest timbers to try for for cell phones which have been failures but calicoma is pretty darn good and not only can you make self bows but because calicoma grows in rainforest areas and on the edges of rainforest and drainage areas there's low light so what happens is the young saplings and also the suckers are quite straight when they try and reach reach the light and you can see here these shafts are, are not too bad I've kept the bark on and also carved out a couple of lighter tones to the, uh, the sapwood just for decoration the Broadheads I've used Burlington Chirp from the US, you can see that, and uh, normal feathers, and also pine pitch and sinew, as usual. Now, with my bow, I ended up getting two staves, obviously, I split it in half and let it dry, and this is my other stave, which I'm going to try and make a little bit shorter than my first one, and try and get a bit more poundage out of it. I'm also going to dry it a little bit longer, because being damp, they are taking a little bit of set. Um, but to, honestly for a survival situation if you can make a bow using a knife you're doing pretty good anyway I'll show you how it shoots This is Calicoma serratifolia. You can see the serrations on the edges of the leaves. And the uh, underside's really easy to spot. It's light grey, almost white. Really easy to spot. There's some shoots here I'll show you. You can see how dead straight these, uh, these shafts go up to the sunlight. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Magnificent. Now, with Calicoma, a single genus, single species, another favourite uh, material of mine is Gymnostachus, as you all know, and this is a fish trap I've made using Gymnostachus for the weaving. I've uh, just got to finish a few parts. And these here for the frame are, I don't know whether you can see that, the lighter bits, they're source edge. The source edge grows to about one and a half, two metres in a big clump. Um, I wanted to try this material because it's quite common. Um, 
So uh, let's go place this in the uh, creek and we'll see how it works. Now what I need to do first is put a couple of rocks in to, to weight it down. And what I've done, I've chosen this area because it's, you can see the majority of water is flowing into this small channel here. So I'll use some of these rocks to build up a dam here and uh, it should be ready to go. Yep, I think we're good to go. 